President Donald Trump on Saturday spent his fourth day in a row golfing in Florida after going more than a month without his favorite game. Trump went to his Trump International golf course early Saturday morning here, where he's spending his Thanksgiving break at his Mar-a-Lago home. The president had gone without his weekend golf games for the past month, instead spending his time on the campaign trail for the midterm election. On Friday, the president kicked off the third day of his vacation with a few tweets directed toward lawmakers on Capitol Hill and then sped off to his golf course, where he spent five hours. On Thursday he spent almost four hours at his Trump International golf course, and on Wednesday he spent almost six hours at his private club. His round on Wednesday, when he played with golfing legend Jack Nicklaus was his first in more than a month, the longest stretch he's gone without yet playing as president, according to a Washington Post analysis. Trump, who usually hits the links on the weekends, had been barnstorming for GOP candidates around the country. Before he left for Florida with his family on Tuesday, the president told reporters he would be working hard during his break. We're going now to the Southern White House, Trump said as he prepared to leave 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue for the holiday. We have a lot of work we're going to be doing in Florida, he added. Trump has worked while he's been at his winter White House, as his Mar-a-Lago estate is known. Share this article share on Thanksgiving Day, he called troop stations overseas, talking with an Air Force unit in Afghanistan, Marines in Kuwait, Army soldiers in Afghanistan, Coast Guard officers in Bahrain, and a Navy commander. Melania and I want to express our gratitude for the sacrifices you make to defend your nation while you are away from your family and loved ones," he told troops at the start of the call. I hope you will take solace in knowing that all of the American families that you hold close to your heart were all doing well," he added. He then delivered sandwiches to a Coast Guard station near his Florida property. You gain about five pounds when you eat one of those, he said of the giant submarine sandwiches. He also invited them to golf at one of his two private clubs here. The president even offered a bet. Anybody that wants to go, you go, he said. A if you break par, I'll give you $100, he added. He then left for the golf course, getting in a round before Thanksgiving dinner with his family. On Wednesday, his first full day in Florida, the president played a quick round with golfing legend Jack Nicklaus, 78, and in grandson Gary G. T. Nicholas Jr. At the Trump International Golf Club. Jack Nicholas is a six-time Masters winner. GT sank a hole in one a ninth hole of the Masters Par 3 contest last spring at the age of 15. Nearly every day over previous breaks, the president has left Mar a Lago early in the day to travel by motorcade to Trump International Golf Club. The private course is not visible from the road, save for one hole, where CNN has repeatedly captured Trump driving around in a golf cart on days when the White House refused to confirm the president was playing. He has returned to Mar-a-Lago on those occasions late in the afternoon for dinner with his family, supporters, club members and politicians that are closed to press, although he has not always been able to prevent photos from landing on social media. Trump, through his Trump organization, runs 17 different golf courses around the country, including two near Mar-a-Lago. Last year, the first family spent so many weekends on the property that it was dubbed the Winter White House, a nickname that even the president has used. He has also referred to Florida as his adopted home.
As of October, Trump has played golf 159 times since becoming president mostly at his properties in Florida, Bedminster, New Jersey, or near Sterling, Virginia according to Golf News Net. The White House is sensitive about the president's golf playing and takes pains to emphasize he's in meetings and on calls when he's at one of his properties at Mar-a-Lago or Bedminster. Trump has also used his Florida estate as part of his presidency, prompting outrage from critics who say he is profiting off his presidency. He's hosted foreign leaders such as President Xi Jinping of China and Prime Minister Shinzo Mabe of Japan. Trump and Abe fit in a round of golf at their April meeting after the White House said they wouldn't have time 